hi my name is Vishal in this video I'll just show you how to create a basic uh, texture pattern in substance 3d designer and then take it into Maya as textures so here I've got the substance 3d designer so firstly I would like to go to file new package and then we have an option called substance graph uh, generally if I have to create textures I'll go for this if I have to create models then I might uh, go with the model graph but here it is substance graph so once that is uh, done uh, I can just go to the empty or metallic roughness or any other shaders here so here I just choose metallic roughness or maybe I would like to even pick the empty so roughness will create all the uh, attributes here for the material uh, namely a base color normal map roughness map metallic ambient occlusion and height maps so to start with I'll take a tile generator for that I press tab on the keyboard and then type tile and then you get tile generator here so I select the tile generator and then I just double click the tile generator and come here and then choose tile uh, x amount to 6 and uh, y amount to 6 and then change the pattern to the square here and then choose the size of the uh, scale of that to 0 0.98 once that is done I choose uh, a tool called bevel I choose that and then I reduce the So I've set a value of 0 0.005 Okay So just to see uh, the result I'll connect this one and then you get that nice uh, bevel okay I choose the gradient map tool and then adjust this uh, gradients just keep it low like that okay so these are the tiles here so I just select uh, um, or duplicate this tile generator and then I'll change the pattern to the gradation and then choose the random rotation there I, I take the blend tool and whatever I have beveled here and uh, this one will get multiplied like that and you get that nice decent uh, tile corner and then some of the tiles are 
you know having less value and some of the tiles have okay so that's how the tiles have come here and if you see some tiles are like little bit up and then going down they are uneven which uh, makes some sense okay then I take uh, ambient occlusion uh, tool here and then connect it to the ambient occlusion like that then I duplicate the tile generator and then just go down to the color and then enable the checker mask just a minute I just take uh, instead of this I take a, a gradient tool gradient map and then pick the colors accordingly so the black has been mapped to the maroon color and white has been mapped to the yellow color and I've made it into something like that then I just connect uh, the texture there then you got this so you can still control uh, the way the tiles are uh, for example you can uh, apply okay let's say there's some cloud texture I can connect it to the roughness and then you get that So you get that nice uh, tiles uh, going on here which is basically the roughness map here. So whatever you have created you can take them uh, as uh, the textures just you need to right click and then uh, export the bitmaps. So in what space they have to be exported you have that RGB linear or raw and uh, the formats are also uh, there here so if you are really expecting all that in uh, the right values then you can also export them into OpenEXR or uh, you can choose HDR also let's uh, see them with the PNG here and um, let me open the textures folder and then export so export is done so I'll just open Maya here I take a polygon sphere assign AI standard surface shader I'll create a light in color I'll just browse a file I 
I select the light and then set the camera value to 0 and then render it then you got this so select the sphere and then uh, the shader I'll just choose the shading group by clicking the shaders output connection then you got the displacement material here I'll click there browse the file and uh, in displacement I'll browse the texture which is uh, a height map I have not connected that to the displacement and there you get this map so once you have applied that you get the displacement uh, 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 seen in the model firstly I need to select the sphere and in the shape node in the shape node open Arnold in subdivision in type change the type to cat clerk and then put the iterations value to 5 then you get the right displacement with fine quality now once that is done go to the displacement file and in the color balance choose the alpha offset to minus 0 0.5 which is the half of the value and it is negative that will change the water level position of the displacement once that is done go to the displacement scale value put a value of 0 0.1 and then you should see the right scale value but the tiles are too much uh, displaced so I'll put a value of 0 0.02 and uh, that should be sufficient there now once that is done I just uh, select the sphere and then go to the color and browse the color there and it should be the base color PNG and then you should get this nicely displaced and uh, if I open hypershade and uh, bring up the file to and in file I'll browse the ambient occlusion the color and the ambient occlusion should be multiplied so I can choose uh, let's see if there is something in color composite yeah color composite multiply so connect uh, color A and color B with the occlusion and the texture and the base color there and then when we put the add it's that but we'll choose multiply so you get that nice corner dot and then I'll go to the specular roughness and browse the file from here then you get that nice uh, broken uh, uh, texture I mean the roughness is quite broken but it's it's too rough so for that I just uh, bring the color correct tool connect the color to the input and choose a red channel to the specular roughness now 
now if I start working with the gamma the the texture will be rough or rougher now you should see that uneven textures there on the model the roughness is broken like that now if I just increase the samples in the render settings the noise what we are getting will be cut down but we have to wait uh, for some more render time So we got the result here. This is how this uh, overall uh, result has come up here with the. It took three minutes uh, six seconds to render this.